Hello, this is Carl with cmpstudios.com and you can learn how to become a youth sports photographer at my blog and I am going to bring you another lesson here. Uh, this particular lesson is going to be on the histogram. I'm coming to you from DP Review and at DP Review you can view different cameras and um, get different reviews on them. But this this is uh, actually a review of the Nikon D300, which is the particular camera that I use. And I want to talk about the histogram here. When you're shooting your pictures and you want to get a good exposure, the main thing you want to pay attention to when you're looking at that back display, that 3-inch display, is you want to get an idea from the histogram as to how your exposure is on your on your camera. Okay. By using the histogram, you can avoid getting over far overexposed or far underexposed pictures. It doesn't matter how bright it is outside or how dark you are, or how dark of a room you're in. If you learn to use this histogram, then you can learn to get good exposures. Okay. The main things that you need to know about the histogram is if you have spikes over here on on the um, this part of the histogram if you have anything spiking over here then you're overexposed okay if you have anything spiking over here you're a little underexposed and this is this is according to digital cameras okay now what happens when you underexpose or overexpose um, when shooting with digital is you lose data um, information so if you have any spikes over here in the blacks you've lost the detail in that black and it is just black pixels there if you come over here and you overexpose a little bit and you have a spike here or if it's touching over here then you only have white pixels okay so you want to avoid that as much as possible now if they go off the scale here that's fine that's um that that's only measuring the density all right so you can you can see here different histograms but the main thing that you want to know about the histogram is over here to the left is underexposed, over here to the right is overexposed. If I've got to make a choice, I'm going to underexpose the picture slightly rather than overexpose it. Okay? So if you find yourself between a rock and a hard place and you said, Man, I can't I can't seem to adjust my shutter speed and my aperture to get this uh, get everything in the center, which is the which is your goal to get everything in the center. Okay. Then choose to get just a little bit on the under underexposed side versus getting um, on the overexposed side. Now, I mean, if you get a little bit on the over overexposed side, you may be able to get get away with it. But I mean, it, it it's very rare that you um, you need the detail in the black, whereas you will definitely need the detail in the white. Okay, thanks for watching. You can learn more at cmpstudios.com. I will make um, updates to this blog regularly, so come back for more. Thanks.